Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Amber here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get not one, but two scythes from the Oscaria Festival. You're gonna be able to get two of these hell scythes from the festival shop. But remember, the Oscaria Festival is a time-limited event from November 11th to December 2nd, taking place here at your settlement in Ravensthorpe. And you can use any way you want to earn the festival tokens needed. I personally liked the fighting challenge, but you can do the quests, you can do the target practice. It doesn't matter how you get the festival tokens. You don't need to do all the quests. As long as you have enough tokens, you can purchase the new weapons, tattoos, or other items in the shop. And I set my difficulty on easy, just so I could get through this more quickly. I'm using my own gear in this challenge. I'm using the two short swords, and I have the critical spark rune equipped, so that's why you saw my two weapons light on fire for a second. And you'll have to survive three waves of attackers. I have this set on double speed just to get through it a little more quickly. A tip, you can use set trap on the enemies you've killed in the previous wave to help take out enemies in the current wave. So while I'm waiting for the next wave to come, I uh, set trap on those enemies. And then when you finish the challenge, you're going to get festival tokens. And after you do this first challenge successfully, you'll have the option to use the Druid armor set to get a bonus in tokens. And then you'll be able to use the Reaper armor set to get additional tokens. But after you do the Druid set once and the Reaper set once, you don't get any bonus. So you could just use your own gear. So this is kind of fast forwarding ahead after I've done the challenge multiple times and I've collected enough tokens necessary to get the weapon that I want. And again, you don't have to do the fighting challenge. You can accumulate these festival tokens however you want. But once you have enough tokens, go back to Norvig here at the festival shop and you can purchase Hell's Scythe for the first time, you need 350 festival tokens. So I'm going to purchase that here. And you see it disappears from the shop. However, it will reappear when the shop resets. The easiest way to get the shop to reset is to level up. So in the next clip, I'm going to show me doing the fighting challenge again, and I'm going to level up at the very end of it. And then I'm going to show you that you can buy Hell Scythe again from the festival shop. Now you don't need to level up using the Oscaria festival. You can level up any way you want by getting XP any way you want in the game. And I do have some other videos on ways you can get XP easily and level up fast. I'll link that on screen and in the description below. And here I'm using my own gear on easy difficulty. And you can see the XP diamond in the upper right hand corner there is just about full. And it's going to get full just at the end of this challenge. Oh, the other trick I use in these trials, in addition to setting traps so that the enemies in the subsequent waves will get damaged by the exploding corpses of enemies from the previous waves, I also like to use the battlefield bolt ability to throw the weapons that are on the ground. So the Battlefield Bolt is one of my favorite skills from the Wolf skill tree, and if you have that, you can pick up weapons that other enemies have dropped and throw them at other enemies. So that's another 
thing you might find useful when you go through these waves of enemies. And here I'm on the last wave, and I got hit with some poison there, but no problem. I'm using throwing axe fury to take down the werewolf sor sorcerer and the werewolf itself. And as I do, you'll notice I will level up. There, so I leveled up, and you can tell I have one mastery point in the upper right-hand corner. Since this is a max level Eivor, I'm getting mastery points when I level up instead of skill points. And now that I've leveled up, and I do have enough festival tokens, I can go buy Hellscythe again, because now that I've leveled up, the shop will be reset, and the items, any items that I've purchased will be restocked, allowing me to purchase it again. And why would you want to do this? It's useful to get two weapons or two armor or two gear items so that you can do the rune duplication glitch. And I'm going to make another video showing you exactly how to do the rune duplication. This was a glitch that was available when the game first released and then it was patched and now it is back again. So some of you might know how to do it, but if you haven't done it before, check out my next video which I'll link on screen and in the description when it is done. But it takes a little while to explain, so I thought I'd do that separately. But now you know the first step to do the rune duplication is to get duplicate gear items. And now you have two Hell's Skies. This is Amber. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.